Some people think you need a sports car to get what you want. Some people think you need a million dollars. Some people think you need looks. Status. The only thing you need is what they can't get unless they come straight to you. And that's your identity. Join the Masculine Identity Membership today. MasculineIdentityMembership.com Yeah, consistency is everything. Consistency is more than motive is 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 more than motivation, man. Consistency is more than motivation. Well, guys, remember that. That's a big fucking deal. Because a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas use the fact that they're not motivated to not do shit. And they're like, oh, I don't feel motivated, so I'm just going to skip the gym today. And it's like, nah, fuck motivation. Fuck motivation. What you what you looking for is consistency. When I get up in the morning, you think I really want to go lift weights and shit? And then I know I still got like a, a fucking five hour, I mean a five mile hike in front of me. I don't always, when I get up, I don't always feel like doing that shit, but I get up, I make my bed, well, get up, take a piss first, but I get up, make my bed, and then it's like, once I make my bed, it's like everything just starts to, like, I just, I let, I let my body go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think about it, I just let my body move, so I get up, you know, put on my sweatpants, go get my socks, go get my shoes, you know what I'm saying? Put on my gear, go down to the gym, and just 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 keep I just keep moving. I don't really I don't try to think about it. I don't try to think about how I feel. You understand? A lot of us get fucked up trying to think about how we feel. Don't think about how you feel. Just just do it. You know, you know it's see that's that's a big part of manhood too. You know it's the right thing to do. Right? You know getting up and working out is the right thing to do. If you got a job and you got to get up early, you know getting up getting up and getting ready so you can arrive at your job on time or at least early, like 5 10 minutes early. That's the right thing to do because you value you, you know you you need your job to make money to pay your bills. So it's really not about how you feel. So it's the same thing with um working out or anything else. It's like you have to do it in order for things for the other things that you want in life to happen you have to do it you see what i'm saying so if you want to be healthy if you want to have a good physique you want to be strong you understand these you just got to get up and do it fuck how you feel fuck it fuck if you're motivated <laughs> you know what i'm saying just forget all of that dumb shit cuz nobody don't nobody don't care about you and ain't nobody can nobody lift the weight for you because if they lift the weight, they're going to be making themselves stronger, not you. You see what I'm saying? So, so motivation, motiva it's cool to feel motivated. You understand? But it's more important to be consistent. Just be consistent. Just get up and do it. Even, even, if, even if you're tired and, you, and you're not really, maybe, you know, maybe because <clears throat> sometimes you, you feel tired, you feel sore or whatever, or you're just not into it, right? Your energy level is not there. But it's still better for you to have a shitty workout or a low energy or low intensity workout than to not work out at all. You see what I'm saying? So just get up. Just go do the shit. Do, do the reps. And don't, don't even think about it. Just fucking do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and what usually happens is towards the end of the workout, you see that your intensity starts to pick up. You understand? And then you start to feel a little bit better. But see, that comes with consistency, not motivation. Because motivation is contingent on how you feel. And what feelings, feelings, feelings is cool, but when it comes to manhood, feelings don't mean shit. You understand? Feelings don't mean shit when it comes to manhood. Chico Townsend, what up? Shady boy. 
Jad B, what up? Yeah, consistency is everything, bro. Consistency is everything. Fresh Prince Darius Mutabazi, what up? I like saying your name, Mutabazi. <laughs> Mutabazi. It makes me sa- it makes me feel like I know how to speak Swahili or some shit. <laughs> Marky B, what up? Jad B said, imagine you have a good game. Is there a risk that your girlfriend get attached emotionally or fall in love with the other guy she is fucking if you and her are not sexually exclusive? Yep. There's a there's a there's a risk even if you're in a monogamous relationship that she might she might cheat on you and fall in love with someone else. That's life. And and there's there's times that you can have good game. You can have good enough game to keep your girl um it, um you can keep her influence for a certain period of time but she might grow and develop into a different person or you might grow and develop into a different person and your influence doesn't have the same effect on her after a certain amount of time that's just called that's just called moving on you understand so Guys, I, I always tell you, game is not there's not a hundred percent guarantee about having a girl and keeping the girl. You increase the probabilities. You definitely increase the probabilities. But game is not about um, the one hundred percent guarantee that your woman is gonna stay with you forever. You understand? The only thing game guarantees is. When it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. So first, you're gonna have to find discipline within yourself. Do you have that type of discipline? Do you even have the heart to be ruthless? To Women you? need leadership. It is in their nature to seek out leadership. You know, you can't do a 99 because all that's part of a man. You gotta do a 100. Apparently, these women out here having sex with somebody. Apparently, they're getting pregnant with somebody. <laughs> Shoot, somebody getting some. You should look at something like hypergamy and allow it to inspire you to always be evolving, getting better, expanding, developing. There are things you know, there are things you don't know. Then there are things you don't know you don't even know. There can be Ten of us in one room, and there's one question, and there's ten correct answers, all different. Over here at the Bad Boy Membership, we love women, their beauty, essence, and the way they provide infinite opportunities to learn more about the man you truly are. With over 30 years of experience, we've uncovered the best practices in effectively relating to women. If you would like to discover the best version of yourself and relate to women in the most effective way, join the Bad Boy membership today.